I just need to nip out before the march. Well, I'll go and check she needs, all right. Well, it's a shock to see anyone die, innit? Even if it is someone as evil as Laurie. Yeah, but she's got her family to look after her. So what are you going to do that they can't? Let me finish this. No, 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 listen. I've got more important job for you to do today, OK? There's a very special guest coming to the march and I need you to go and pick them up. I mean, Stuart asked me to go and meet them in the village myself for a thought. Nah, you know, Steve's the one with the people skills, isn't he? Emma. No, obviously, I... No, yeah. I haven't. Go put my good shirt on. <laughs> Can't stop and chat. Stuart wants me to pick up a VIP for today's march. Wow, been called some things in my time, but VIP? Stuart and Johnny have set me up. Well, what are they thinking? The last date we had, it was a disaster. No offence. Relax. You're not the first bloke from the organisation they've tried to pair me off with. Three out of tens. A lot of them. Well, I hope you're not including me in that. Nah. You're a two. Yeah, what are you talking about, mate? I'm a solid gold ten. I mean, you're kind of fit. You're not Channing Tatum fit, but you're not too shabby. But that date was such a disaster. I'm gonna have to mark you down for personality. Our date? It was an awkward situation. I wasn't on my A-game. Tell you what, we've got a bit of time before the march. Why don't we grab a drink at the tea house and uh, you can try and wow me with your winning personality. See if we can shift your rate into a six. You don't. And for the record, I have way better abs than Channing. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, Jed, can you give us a sec, please? No worries. Just be quick. You know, it's true to stick the flavours. I've already told you. Right, you can have Hannah for tea, but I want a home for seven. It's not about that. It's about Laurie. Now, I know I'm not your favourite person right now. But we are still mates, aren't we? So if you ever need to talk or... Thanks. It means a lot. Hug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is he doing with me daughter? Oh, seriously? Sammy offered to pick her up from a summer camp and I accepted. Not that it's any of your business. Not my business. She's my kid and I don't want anywhere near him. Hannah, come on, we'll no, go hey, in. Hey, hey, not say, okay, Out my way, my Boy, listen. Take my family all you want, but I'm asking you politely, keep Sinead out of it. But you can't resist stirring up trouble, can you? Why are you sticking your nose into my business? And why are you fighting Sinead's battles? Oh, please, she could put you in your place without breaking a sweat. Everything all right, mate? Yeah. Yeah, Steve was just leaving. Why are you going to make me? No, I'm not. Because you know what Sinead's been through and you care about her. That's why you're going to do the right thing and walk away. Go on. Sorry about that. Oi! Have you nicked my raspberry pool? Oi! <laughs> Come on. I've come to pick Hannah up. I had to explain to our daughter why her dad was on TV screaming at the police with an angry mob. I don't think so. You can't stop me from seeing me, kid. Hannah, put your shoes on. Hey, I told you, you're not kicking off today. Not talking to you. Wow. Just when I thought your standards couldn't get any lower. So I made a promise to myself today that I will never let anyone hurt me or my daughter again. I'm sorry, but from now on, you're going nowhere near Hannah. No, 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 Sinead, please, OK, I get you don't like my friends, but do not to take my daughter away from me. You made the choice. Sinead! If you think I'm letting our daughter go anywhere near your so-called friends, you've got another thing coming. Now, get out. Do you know, State? I don't know who you are anymore. 